Um, with this painting, Audrey, we're seeing now a really big jump from when you were doing stuff earlier with the realism in that sense and regard uh, as you were learning the medium. But with this one, it's more abstract. Could you tell me uh, or tell the viewers what led you to this exploration away from realism? And were there any art artists that influenced this time period within your work? Well, I was entering uh, though temporarily there's not much uh, much discrepancy, I was entering a phase of more sophistication. And I was trying to gradually bring myself up to a contemporary time period. So uh, I was still didn't want to do abstract expressionism, which was kind of the classic module at that time of my life. But I wanted to try and do something that had objects, but was also sort of like abstract expressionism. And uh, therefore, I was looking for uh, shadows, color values in objects uh, that I could exaggerate and I could and would give me suggestions for putting nice juicy strokes down and uh, sort of breaking up the objects and creating some sort of interest in the uh, brush marks and the color values themselves and the medium itself. So it's kind of more of the same uh, high school realism, but with an attempt to kind of fuse it with abstract expressionism. So I looked at all uh, the contemporary uh, painting, which at that point was not really abstract expressionism, most of it. But I was also uh, studying de Kooning and Gorky and oh, all the big people who did uh, splashy painterly painting. Uh, which was really a generation earlier. Uh, so I, I couldn't say any one particular painter.